class is part of my environment course in Houdini named the Faroe Islands and the Waterfall. So please enjoy. Now there's something else that I want to talk about. If we want from the distance to have the geometry of this river, uh, how can we do that? And there is a, a way of accomplish something like that. And the way is that there was a moment that we carved this, this river, right? So we carved out this river. And if we take the difference between the carving and the whole geometry, the, the past geometry, we're going to have a difference. And that difference could be the geometry of this river. And we can texture it from the distance to, to, to make it look like water as well. So that could be something interesting for us to accomplish. And we would that do that uh, in the area where we did the river. I think that's why it's good to, to write a name, proper name, so it's easier to find. But I think we painted, we mass blur. I think this is the one. Let me double check. So, okay, so yeah. I think this one, you see the, the, the height in this one and let's see it in the other one. Yeah, this difference, everything else is the same. This is different. So if we take this and say like, um, uh, HF convert, let's convert this to VDB. Um, from which stage, from the noise, from the mask blur, this. This is the without this uh, river going down in here. So, so the idea behind is that we're going to convert the terrain to VDBs before and after we change the river, we make the river more visible. And we're going to have like the difference between these two are going to leave us with a geometry that would be the water that would fill this river. So that's the concept behind this in here, because everything else is the same, but the river is, is where we will have a bigger difference. Uh, probably in some other areas we might also, but let's do a VGB uh, convert. Convert VDB, no, sorry, is um, VDB combined. And we want to have like a the SDF difference. If we have this, this, and select. It's not the intersection, is the difference. Mm, yeah, we have more. Yeah, <laughs> much more. And the reason is because we didn't convert everything. We use the, the copy layer to have the, the water as well. So let me see if I can fix that some way. Um, I think if we work on this VDB, we can do something. If I do like a, a VDB is moot. Yeah. We already killed most of it and we kept only the, the most, uh, the biggest part. And there is also a, a node called VGB connect segments by connectivity. And this gives us like whatever is connected and different areas. And if you do like a blast in here, and if you choose the blast and you come in here, the surface zero is the biggest one always. So if we select that and delete not selected, we kept only the biggest part of the river. So this is our river. So it's still VGB. So let's do VGB convert, convert VGB to polygons and select. Okay. So now we have the river, the geometry of the river, and we can texture that as water for the long, for the, the shot that's from the distance. And the thing with this river is not what we're going to use in our main shot and, and all, but you know, like imagine like if you have like a, um, a shot from, from a distance like this, and you, you have this for free, like this reflective 
surface that you can texture in a different way. You can even have like animated displacement on top of that, like small ripples just to break up the, the specularity and give us some interesting look. And also it's good because now this geometry is also interesting because we can just uh, do an attribute transfer and, and have like this bottom layer uh, colored, uh, textured in a different way. Okay, because then we can have like this uh, different color in the bottom of this river. So, uh, very useful. Let's go and start working to extract a few interesting things. 